Well, we are back out on the farm where I was digging the dump and I had thoughts about it last time out here because of its kind of not so standard location. In a very non-convenient spot, it was like they took a wagon full up from or down from the house and just dumped it. So my thought is really, could there be more dump spots out here? I mean, we found some things there, but that is not, you know, 150 years worth of discarded trash. So we'll walk around with the detector, maybe get lucky like last time. Who knows? There's a bit of iron. And a 22. bottle cap so I guess is this is just a modern day stop spot never know out here well I've been walking around plucking ammo and such and I just came to this as a pile of rocks but there's also a pile of bricks so, that's interesting. I can see one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if there's any signals in the ground. Huh. Bottle cap. It's older than the last one, though. Well, it's definitely noisier over here. Let's open it up. Essentially between the rocks and the bricks. Now it goes out here and our speck of New Hampshire. Colonial site on the hill. Cabin site over there, dump behind me. And who knows what else in between. It definitely could have been more than one cabin site out here, that's for sure. Or old home site. nut, bolt, and washer. Complete setup. Oh, another one. Oh yes, and this rut reminds me not to forget to mention early 1900s logging out here. So, lots of variables. And I've essentially walked all the way to the end of the farm down the hill here and I'm heading back towards the proper dump. Figure we can hit that at the least but yeah that's a that's a deep cut trench from some big piece of equipment with big trees growing back through it pretty cool. Here we go back in the dump. Still a good worthy and walk and I'll be out here walking for a long time to come just the those bricks alone with the nuts bolts and stuff middle of nowhere right it happens there we go an iron ring farm stuff casing. Big iron thing. And a screw. That's a thing, and there's the flathead screws like I have been digging the past couple trips. No idea. Stuff and things. Wow. Thick.
half a little handle. That's kind of neat. It's kind of nice bracket of sorts. Yeah, definitely made nice. That actually is in one of the plugs. Sounded oddly clean. Oh, well, it's good metal, that's why. No idea. Pins and pieces. Oh, it's actually a little tin. Well, no writing on it, but still cool, it's intact. And the rest of the plug, some crockery glass and a hook. One hole. More of that crazy thick glass. And that thing. That's a big chunk of iron that served purpose, and I have no idea for what, but we found it. Another screw. All the screws have been up here. It's a screw <laughs> with stuff in it. Oh, sheet metal, maybe. Yep. Wow, that's a first. Before I clean it, oh, it's not good lighting. All right, who knows what that is? You ready? It's a cylinder for a revolver. Looks like a 22, maybe. Whoa, let me clean that baby up. Yep. That is awesome. So I just looked it up. The 22 caliber was invented in 1845. So this being an 1800s dump, probably late 1800s, we can probably bet that that's when that came from. That is so cool. And a definite, definite uh, worthy find. I'm just about done because I've been here a long time. Now it's funny, after pulling that sheet metal, I'm like, well, just pull it back a little bit more and see what else is in there. And there it was.
was. Wow, see, you just never know. And that's why it's always good to check. All right, get out and check your old spots and I'll see you soon.